Before we get to the main topic, there's definitely like comments I want to address that came over this past week. Uh, but I do want to point out a, a major critique of mine that I got, uh, which I think is important to put out there because I, I'm going to show you how this parallels with you and your dating life, right? So um, when I put up the escort video, it, that video actually took off and has been doing some great numbers. But there were a few people in the comments that were saying things like, Harry, you're talking too fast during the video. Harry, you need to slow down. Harry, you give great advice, but I can't make sense of what you're saying. And this is uh, this has been a lifelong critique. I've been talking fast since my younger years. I think back in the day, because I was an introvert, there were times I'd be out in public and try to speak and I would be getting talked over. And I'm very much a person that I, I'm trying to wait for the other person to finish talking before I say something. And then I would find when I would start talking, those people had a different style where they're more uh, of the engaged style of speaking where they want to constantly jump in. Right. And so I just learned in order to get my point across, I got to talk faster. And so it's something that I've been working on my entire life. In fact, even with this show, if you look at my earlier shows versus how the show is now, I've, I've slowed down significantly in my speech. But obviously, that doesn't matter if the response I'm getting from videos is, hey, we still can't understand you. So I've always been a person that's like, at the end of the day, we all have uh, blinders to things and we all have things we can improve. But it's important to be the kind of person that can take criticism that is valid and say, you know what, there's valid criticism. And so I'm going to try to do what I can to work on that. So like, I want you guys to know, like right now, I'm taking the note and making it a point to talk slower. It is an exercise in my brain that is very difficult because my brain is always like, the words I'm saying to you right now, I thought of like five seconds ago. And so at times it feels like my brain is trying to catch up, or my, my mouth is trying to catch up with my brain in, in terms of talking, right? But like I said, when there's valid criticism, I'm always like, let me look at that, let me examine it, how can I work on that? Now, I, I'm pointing this out to you because there are also guys in my comments that you know, they watch my advice, they see my streams, and then their response is, but I don't want to do that. Like, Harry, you're saying that girls like this thing, but I don't want to do that thing. Or you're saying, if I do this certain action, girls aren't going to like me. Well, I want to do that action, and that's who I am. And if I can't do that action, then these girls are just crazy. And so I I'm trying to demonstrate to you that sometimes when you get notes about yourself, whether it's through talking or in your dating process, you're not going to like it. You're not going to like the way it feels, the way it sounds. Like, I don't like getting a bunch of critiques of people saying, oh my God, you talk too fast. Blah, blah. But the bottom line is, if that critique in the long run is going to help me to uh, uh, keep more viewers engaged and have people actually take in my content, and if it makes me look like more of an authority figure by, by being able to speak slower, then that is a good note to take. I could be the guy that's like, well, these people say that I talk too fast on stream. Well, you know what? They're crazy. They don't talk about that. They don't like that stuff. Blah, blah, blah. How is that going to help me grow and help me get the results I want? So be mindful of that in your dating life. Like there's going to be times when say you're dating a woman, you might be dating a woman that has legitimate concerns about you or has a critique of you and wants to come to you and say, hey, babe, so I just want to point this out to you. Uh, sometimes when you say this thing, this is how I feel about it, or I notice you're doing this action and this is why it's not helpful to the relationship. Don't be the guy that just immediately goes, that's not a thing. How dare you say that? You're just crazy. If you can't take me. No, because sometimes women will come to you with valid criticisms and for you to just brush away every woman that gives you criticism because you don't like the way it sounds, you're going to be a lonely guy. And more importantly, you're not going to be able to grow in the way that you want to grow to where you can actually keep women around because part of it's going to be like they don't feel heard by by you and the fact that they're trying to be helpful and they're trying to be your helpmate and you're not taking their help in when it's at valid times that's going to cause you to lose a lot more women so take it from me guys i'm not a guy that necessarily likes criticism but i'm able to take it examine it see if it has any merit to it and then go forth and make necessary changes much like i'm trying to do now be the same way in your dating life, and I promise you, you will get better results. So I just wanted to address that at the front of the show. Doing my best, guys. So keep that in mind. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high-earning, high-value, high-class man. You
You are high earning high value high class men. You are high earning high value high class men. You are high class men. You are high class men. You are high earning high value high class men.